Now answering the wall. Seems like my luck is in this time. I've found enough fuel to last a good few miles. Another bandit camp wiped out as well, so that was a happy ending. Still, my surprise encounter with those mutants was more than slightly concerning. With my tank full, I rode the last few miles back to town. I'd made a home of sorts in a place called The Wall, an old electric dam. There was a trader there who bought and sold weapons and old curios. He's borderline gangster, but he'll buy almost anything. It might be a good idea to ask him if anyone else picked up that strange signal. Okay. Cool, so this is the room from the tutorial. This is... this is the wall, then. Great. <laughs> Can I just... Ooh, we got NPCs in here now. Oh, no way! Can I talk to you? <gasps> oh no, he's a loser. Oh, they're all losers. Hey, nice crowbar. Hey, my eyes are up here. If I had a working motorcycle, I would ride far, far away from this place. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I probably would too, except I don't have the gas for it. Did you find anything good while you were out there? Uh, not a lot really, just an old radio. Why would I tell you? Let's be friendly with this guy. Great, just great. I'm sure that's going to solve our food problem. <laughs> Whatever, dude. <laughs> How are we supposed to survive if all you people bring back is junk? Hey, uh, you go out there and get some food, man. <laughs> I got shot. <laughs> Asshole. Free Power Refugee Center. Don't have time to chat, Scaver. All right, well, I'll leave you alone then. Are you guys following me? Oh God, they are. They're just sort of flocking in my direction. That's unsettling. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, what's been going on in town? Barrett's men have moved into the dam. Probably going to start charging for power again. Stay clear of them. We'll kick them out eventually. Why aren't you stopping them now? <laughs> Us and what army? That's a National Guard job. We'll just wait until Barrett turns up missing, then we'll get those idiots. National Guard? Yeah, the old Provisional Army. What was left of it. The last local unit went into the city, oh, about three years ago. They haven't been heard from since. Well, I've, uh, never even heard of them. Yep, we had a general and about two dozen soldiers. They used to be a big help keeping the peace. Wonder whatever happened to them. Well, it sounds like the last unit of them went into the city and haven't been heard from since. <laughs> I think I heard that somewhere. You didn't say why they left. Maybe because I have no idea. Last thing this general said to me was he had been made aware of a greater need or something. I think they just deserted. Yeah, probably. You ever heard of the Reds Gang? Reds Gang? Oh, you mean Reds Gang. Bunch of lowlifes. They've hit us a few times, but they've got vehicles and we couldn't catch them. Why? <laughs> I found their camp. They've been wiped out by mutants. By mutants? Ha, <laughs> good riddance. Won't say those pricks didn't deserve it. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was under the impression that the cannibals and such I was fighting were Red's gang. That the, that the mutants were Red's gang. Interesting. I guess, I guess, uh, I guess the mutants killed Red's gang and I killed the mutants. Sure. 
Uh, one of those mutants had a flamethrower. Really? Was he 10 feet tall as well? All the other ones, Skiv. Almost. He knew how to use that thing, too. Ha, I've never heard a bigger load of crap. Those freaks can barely walk in a straight line. You've been in the sun too long, Waster. Whatever. Everyone is so mean to me. You selling uh, meat and hats? If I happen across anything interesting, I'll let you know. Okay. You know, if you stab these bags of trash open, sometimes there's good stuff in there. Did you guys know that? I'd show you, but I, uh, I left my knife at home. I could take that motorcycle off your hands. You touch it and you die. You annoy me. Leave before I get really angry. Everyone here sucks. Oh, <laughs> hey, Kurt Russell, how you doing? Oh, shit, it is Kurt Russell. <laughs> what have you got? Alcohol and water is 20, food is 50. It's the dry season, so prices are up. What does it being dry have to do with the price of alcohol? Does the, uh, does it rain alcohol now? Actually, that would be pretty bad. That would, that would be apocalyptic for sure. Never mind, I don't have money. I mean, I have money, but I don't want to <laughs> buy a drink right now. Um, got any work? What's new? Let's find some rumors first. Uh, same as always, Barrett's goons are making a move on the dam again. Crops are coming in, but it's less than last year. At least it's been quiet. Sounds thrilling. Got any work? Hmm. You into fighting? There's something we might need some help with. Check back with me once you've seen Smiley, but make sure you've done everything else you need to do in town. Okay. That sounds interesting. All right. Okay, this is all just generic dialogue. Whoa, you're a happy little fella. You really need to show me where you get all that gasoline from. Uh, I had to kill a 10 foot tall mutant with a flamethrower for it. <laughs> What's back here? You don't mind if I look around, do you? You guys stay out here. Don't follow me. Oh, roof access. Nice. Hello. One day we're going to own this town. Is this Barrett's people? Are you Barrett? No, you're Smiley. The trader breaks into a grin as you approach. What's up? How you doing? What brings you down to my neck of the wastes today? Hey, Smiley. I tried out that store. Got something you might want. What are you selling? What are you buying? Something about that sounded real familiar. I learned that from something many years ago. He winks. Oh, I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I, uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, Silent Hill as well. Right. Well, I got this radio. I even managed to get it working. Take a look. He takes the radio from you, turning it over in his hands. Ah, sweet. Latron, multiband, pretty good condition. This still work? Yep, just needs fresh batteries. Oh, I got tons of those. You pick up anything on it? Those funny old government, this is not a test message is still playing? <laughs> not really, picked up what sounded like a transmission of some kind. Oh, what transmission? What's so strange about that? Radios receive transmissions, that's the point. He snorts and looks at the radio again. Well, 
You used to get bandits or survivalist holdouts yelling nonsense about their turf, but it doesn't really happen anymore. That what you hear? Uh, no. It was a woman's voice, some kind of code. He gives that dirty laugh again. <laughs> now I know you're talking shit. A woman, huh? <laughs> a woman in video games? Sounds unlikely. <laughs> that old story is more shifty than me, pal. I'm telling you, I heard her. Why would I lie to you, Smiley? You're the one with the crooked deals. Oh, yeah, let me just insult him. <laughs> Fuck you. My deals ain't crooked. They're competitive. You really think I'm going to believe what some junkers trying to push on me? I ain't lied to you yet, Smiley. Have a listen. You'll see. He turns the radio on, but it gives only static. Really? Funny that. I don't hear nothing. Look, I know what I heard. I'm not lying to you. He rubs his stubbled chin thoughtfully. You know, Barrett left town in a big rush last night, headed for the city. Only place a broadcast like that could come from. Maybe he heard it too. I'll give you the radio for a hundred. You think Barrett's trying to find this girl? I mean, yeah, he thinks Barrett's trying to find her. That's what he just said. Forget I said anything. Let's say I believe you. You want to sell that thing or not? Yeah. How's 100 sound? Done. Here's your money. Oh, no. We got ripped off. He's not haggling or nothing? You, uh, oh, 100 was way too low. <laughs> he sets the radio on the shelf and counts out some old dollar bills. Pleasure doing business. <laughs> Just like that, no haggling? Say, you and I, we're both friends. You think you could do me a favor? If you do it, I'll give you a discount in the future. Oh. A hundred was way too low if he's offering discounts in the future now. There's a friend of mine. He lives in the city, in the old tunnels. By Michonne Circle. You got a... A package he could use. Think you could get it to him? Hey, uh... I don't do that kind of work anymore. What's in this package? That's for his eyes, Scav. All you need to know is that you will be greatly rewarded. He's a weapons dealer too, you know, high power military munitions. Interesting. And I know you wasters love any opportunity to get something to help you out. All right, I'll bite. How am I meant to find this guy? I already told you, Michonne Circle. He owns a store. His name is Riggs. Some of my boys used to go trading there, so I know there's a way through. Ask the barkeep. He'll know. This better not be a waste of time, Smiley. Fine, I'll go ask the barkeep. Give me the package. Give me the package, Smiley. He hands you a heavy briefcase with a sturdy-looking combination lock. Don't bother trying to open it. Let me know when you're ready to leave. I'll send word you're coming. This had better be worth it. Heh, <laughs> come see me when you want to head out. Or buy anything. Oh, before you go, can I make you another offer on that bike? <laughs> no chance, not unless you want me to walk this package to the city. Dumbass. Oh, good. Huey, Dewey, and Louie are here. Move, move, move! Oh! The worst. Oh my god, no, we are. We're all out of girls. They're all out of stock. Oh no. <laughs> you know, some apocalypse is a, it's a zombie virus. Sometimes it's radiation. In this one, all, all the women just up and left. No great war or anything. This is just this is just dudes being guys. This is what happened to the world. Tech noir. Nice. People don't talk about Terminator enough as a an apocalypse movie, but it kind of is. Have I explored everything? I think so. This place isn't terribly large. 
All right. What do you got for us, Kurt? You already seen Smiley? Good. We do have something I think you could help out with, but it might get a bit violent. That interest you? I do like a bit of the old ultra violence from time to time. Is it mutants? Nah, it turns out we got some domestic problems. If you think you'd be up for that, I can put you in touch with my friend Fortune, so you game? I see. A little cleaning house. What does it pay? Catches on quick, doesn't he? Hundred dollars in scrap. Fortune has the details. But make sure you have everything else done in town you're wanting to do. It might get a little heated here afterwards. Not quite ready yet. How do you get to Michonne's Circle? You mean the station? Why would you want to go there? I need to find someone. Well, it's been a long time. See, we used to send supplies out that way. I remember we used to take the North Road until we reached the outskirts. Then we went through the tunnels. Who were you sending supplies to? We could have used those here. A couple of settlements sprang up in the old tunnels beneath the city. After the bombs fell, a lot of people drifted down there. That was a good few years ago, mind. Why'd you stop going? They got way too dangerous for a start. Cannibals flooding. Once, one of the tunnels we used collapsed while a caravan was moving through. Bad times. Uh, tell me about these tunnels. Well, before the war, big machines used to carry people around, underground. Subtrains or whatever. Better going that way than the surface. That's the way we went in. How long after the apocalypse is this if we we don't even remember trains? Can't I just drive there? No way through, too much rubble. And the rads will cook you before you get anywhere near. The tunnels are your safest bet, trust me. Okay, say I take the tunnels, how do I find Michonne? Just follow the arrows. No, really. I'm serious. We used to mark out routes in white paint. Don't stray from the route, you'll be fine. And that will take me to Michonne's circle? Is it dangerous? Is it dangerous down there? Tell me a place that isn't dangerous. Fair enough. Cave-ins and flooding, mostly. Also, the usual crazy legends about mole people that used to live down there. Long before people moved in. So if I stick to this path, I'll get to Michonne Circle? Maybe. That route should pass through the South Station. There's a small market there. Someone will know the way from there. Hmm. Hey, before I go, you know anywhere in the city that still broadcasts? You mean radio? Nah, sorry, pal. Moose might know. He's an old trader. He's been to the city. Lives just opposite the bar above the market. Moose, huh? I'll go ask him. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, let me grab something from the bar. Here's 50. I'll have the special. <laughs> Here you go. Squirrel filet on a bed of rice served with wild berries and one of those green things. Oh, sweet. Green things? You mean a pickle? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't need anything else right now. Thanks. Is that in my inventory? I guess not. I guess we just pretend to eat it. What is that? Is that a toolbox? What, uh... Let me see what it does. Nothing. Not that I can tell. All right, uh, let's go visit Moose. Ah, uh, not you. Does he live upstairs? That's gotta be him, right? One of these two guys. 
cool. You live on the roof? <laughs> Smiley is a crook and a liar. Whoa. I'll come back here in a minute. This looks really interesting. Oh, man, you, you heard her, haven't you? Um, <laughs> weird old man. What are you talking about, old man? The lady, you heard her voice. You've heard the message. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, do you mean the woman on the radio? Oh, man, I knew, I knew. You can always tell when they've heard the word. You're marked, man. I can see it on your face, clear as day. Uh, you're about to feel my fist on your face. You know who she is? I don't know her, only of her. She speaks in set intervals, not all the time, and only to those she is marked for greater things. It's the numbers, the code. You're not making any sense. What code? What do the numbers mean? Where does the message come from? The old world? The other side, maybe? The spaces between, who can say? I know what I heard, man. Okay, so what is this message supposed to mean? They say the code can reveal your future, how you live, how you die. It's partially reality and partially what you need to hear, only person who can say for sure is you. Oh, it's like the, uh, the Oracle in the Matrix. Sure. <laughs> How am I supposed to figure that out? Believe or don't give a shit, whatever, I know she's real. <laughs> she read out my birthday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gotta love a crazy old man story that ends with him going, Yeah, whatever, I'll give a shit. <laughs> You can listen to me or not. Fuck off. <laughs> you, you're the one I'm looking for, right? Howdy. You're the fellow with the motorcycle, ain't you? Damn fine machine, that. Uh, I am. And what of it? <laughs> you must be Moose. Let's get straight to business. Sure am. Why? You needing directions to some place. That's generally why scavengers come asking for me. Um, you know anywhere that could broadcast still? Oh, sure. The radio station, Big Tower. A few blocks from Michonne Station. I passed it a few times. You can't miss it. Well, if it's still standing. Okay. Can I ask you something else? Shoot. Uh... So, you said you like my motorcycle. <laughs> Easy Tesla Glide 79, right? I remember seeing an article about it in an old comic. Always wanted one, too, back when I was a kid. Man, what I wouldn't give. <laughs> wait, wait, was this before the war? Sure was. I was pretty young, of course, so I don't remember much of the old world, as they call it now. Which comic was that now? Do you remember the war? Like I said, not much. I was, oh, six, maybe seven years old. Whole world went crazy. My folks died a few years after. Ended up becoming a traitor. You became a traitor as a kid? Well, I was actually about 17 at the time. This traveling caravan took me under their wing. Two decades later, and it's me running the whole business. What other places have you visited? Been to the city a few times, walked south of ways, and north too, for a few miles. But it didn't find anything worth going back to. Decided to settle here when I got old. Interesting. Tell me about the city. Hmm, what's left of it, you mean? Took a nasty hit on the north side. Used to be good scavenging, if you could deal with the radiation and the looters. Is there any place worth looking for? Not much left, I'm afraid. 
Every year, another one of those towers falls down, covers up even more. And every few years, the flooding gets even worse. You must have found some great stuff in the early years. Oh, sure. There probably is a few good pieces out there, just waiting to be found. Won't be me, though. And, uh, want my advice? <laughs> sure. Don't risk your own skin in that place. I never told you why I stopped going there, did I? Uh, thought you said you got too old. Yeah, well, maybe I did. You try walking 10 miles in the blistering heat age 73. You want to hear the goddamn story or not? Am I going to have other opportunities to hear this? I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to waste so much time going through all this dialogue. If uh, I'm going to be coming back to the city more often. Maybe, maybe we should save it. <laughs> Just in case, we may not get the opportunity again. If... If things are about to go to shit thanks to Kurt's plan. Yeah, tell me your story. Well, about three years ago, me and two others went into the city. Found a pretty good claim, too. Old S-Mart place, filled with goodies. Hmm, nice. Oh yeah, ammo, survival gear. Got me a real nice rifle with a walnut stock. Cobalt blue steel and a hair trigger. We damn near spent the whole day there. That was a mistake. You had to spend the night there? Never go to the city at night. Golden rule. That's what they say, ain't it? That's just an urban legend. Yeah, well, back then, that rule didn't exist. People would camp out there, hoping to clear the bigger buildings in the daytime. Most would just disappear. The city is full of cannibals, you know. That's probably why. Nah, nah, this was before all that. You didn't really see mutants that much. They were there, of course, but not nearly so many. Alright, well, tell me what happened. So, we made camp at this place. I went up to the roof, wanted to look at the stars. Imagine it was all back to the way it was. Mm-hmm. And it was beautiful. Clear skies, just a hint of blue as the moon came up. I was sat there for a good hour or so. Then I saw it. It was a person, just walking, up on the roof of one of the towers. Except they wasn't walking really, just sort of drifting. So I'm watching this thing, and they just keep walking off the edge of this roof, and it just drifted through thin air went into another tower and vanished. Well, that's creepy. You sure you didn't dream all this? <laughs> wow, so I'm not sleeping tonight. Can I ask you something else? <laughs> <laughs> yep, fuck all that. Um, you sure you didn't dream all this? I swear to God, I saw what I saw. Packed my bags in the morning, told the other two I was heading back. Never been to the city since. Not then, not ever. Yeah, that's what since means. Um, uh, what happened to your friends? Don't mention it. Okay. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> These guys following me around. This is probably the dude Kurt wants us to deal with, right? Bagman! Scaver, what a surprise. I trust the day finds you well. I'm good. How are you? Oh, absolutely marvelous. You seem tense, Scaver. You need something to ease your troubled soul? You buying? I'm not looking to get high, pal. I hear, I hear. You don't need a high, you need something practical. Something to up your game. How about a stim, huh? Military issue, I got some. You have stims? Where on earth did you get those? <laughs> Ask no questions, tell no lies. I got powerful friends. You want some advice? Ask me a different question. Okay, I think I'll be going now. 
<laughs> Don't be a stranger, Scaver. Come back anytime. You got it. <laughs> All right, Kurt. What do you want me to do? Um, not any work. What is it, mutants? I'm ready. Where's Fortune? Here. This key unlocks the bookshelf over there. And you two have fun. Me and the boys will handle things on this side. See you soon. Okay. Wait. What am I doing? Oh, hello. Oh, I guess we weren't out of women after all. <laughs> the woman, dressed in raider garb and carrying a machine pistol, looks at you coldly. You the new blood. You Kurt's friend. Yes, you ready to do some cleaning house? What exactly are we doing? We're going to kick these punks out of our dam, and we're going to do it now. Oh shit, okay, that's happening now, great. Um... Why now? You've not heard? Barrett has left for the city, chasing some ghost. Half his men went with him. If we want to take this town back, this is the only chance we'll get. Oh, yeah, fair enough. That, that seems reasonable. Just us two? Just us. The guards don't want to get involved, but if we force their hand, they'll have to step in. And they've been wanting to kick Barrett and his punks out of here for weeks. Cool. How are we doing this? You'll hit the south side, going in through the electrics hut. I'll hit the north side, through the observation tower. If we're fast, they won't know what hit them. Kurt and the guards will deal with the rest. Sounds fun. Let's do it. Excellent. She stares across the water for a moment, lost in thought. Something wrong? I was just thinking. How about we make this a little more interesting? A wager, if you will. Uh, what kind of wager? Let's say we have a race. First one to kick ass and reach the dam release valve first. If I get to the powerhouse at the bottom of the dam first, I get your share of the pay. What if I win? If you get to the bottom and turn the valve first, I'll give you my favorite gun. Shotgun, pump action, she's like me. She's been through a lot, but she's a real killing machine, believe me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my my shotgun is like me as well. Uh, it is uh, pump action, uh, uh, smooth bore. Uh, what were we talking about? <laughs> um, anyway. Oh, this fucking guy. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. What are you doing? Um, all right, deal. Let's do it. She gives a predatory smile. Excellent. Make your way into the dam, Scaver. I'll meet you at the bottom. Oh, and may the better killer win. Is this guy going to mess up our plan? This is a witness. All right, fine. 